Can you hear me now? That's better, is it? Well, we're certainly looking at a march here around 20,000. The largest march since the outbreak of COVID and the independence movement. To, to every single person that jumped up today. Can you hear me in the back now? We're back on! The Unionist Royalist Gremlins cannot stop us! We are a force and we are back! We have vengeance! Are you okay? Okay. We'll just wait for uh, Kevin to tune up here. Again, I'd just like to welcome everybody. It's a real privilege. My name's Tony Cox. I'm from the Red Republic of Dundee, the Red USA, the leading independent side. We are working class that's fundamentally committed to independence. It was in 2014 and it is now. And it's always a pleasure to come through to Glasgow. And it's always a privilege to serve all under one banner in any capacity. All under one banner does what it says on the tin. It tends to bring the different tribes of the independence movement together to unify. That must be the fundamental message we take for this demonstration today. Unity. And the demand for independence. Not in the future now. By any means necessary. It's always a pleasure to come through to Glasgow. But, you know, knowing weather like this, I think the last time I spoke at a demonstration in Glasgow was very much like this. But the last time we actually had a demonstration all under one banner was through in Edinburgh. I think it was October at the end of last year. And think of the amount of water and blood that's been under the bridge since then. Scotland has fundamentally changed as a country in that time. We now see that the Unionist forces all that they can offer us is dust and ashes. Dust and ashes. That is all they can offer us. If we do not take independence in our own hands, there will be nothing worth saving in this country. They are turning us into a commodity colony. We have never been more of a colony of Westminster since the 17th century. Well, that's got to end. And it ends here. This demonstration of independence strength should be a clarion call to all independence activists throughout Scotland. The need for unity has never been greater. And we have Alba representatives here today. We have SNP representatives here today. We have people from all walks of life here today. With one message, we need independence. Our people are crying out for it. Our communities are crying out for it. And let's get this straight. The independence that we want is a fairer Scotland. It's not just a question of putting a salt tire above the uh, Holyrood. It's a question of actually changing Scotland. To use the riches of Scotland to enable the people of Scotland to realise their genius. We were the country that gifted the world the Scottish Enlightenment. And now they say that we can't even run our own affairs. We have been gaslit. We have been gaslit with the, the, the mother of all historical gaslighting. They're turning us into wee pair craters. Well, we are no wee pair craters. We are 
Joe Thompson's parents. We should never forget that. Go oh, hands back over to Kevin. Feels like I was here about half an hour ago. There's a song called Independence Day. Square, as we call it, and a fascist horde turned up, very violent, and they were kicking and punching and spitting on everyone in that square who had a sole tire flag. These young women refused to move. A couple of young women called the Johnson Sisters. Tell a wee song about them in their honour. A song called the Johnson Sisters. Well, the mob came down to Glasgow town, Mandela, Freedom Square, where a fascist chance and racist rants 
Thank you. 